Hi there! Okay, so today I'm going to talk about this book. So this is uh, Trinity College London's a new singing uh, syllabus. So this is from 2023. Okay, so this is uh, from AHA's music school. Uh, uh, this is for preparing them for their teacher training. Okay, so Okay, so I'm going to flip through everything. So this uh, book is going forward for uh, indefinitely from Trinity. So it's a uh, yay on uh, sustainability, right? Usually we have only like a few years and we have to change the book, right? So this one is uh, going on indefinitely. Okay, until further notice. Okay, so uh, as usual, you have your index, a list of songs, and then some guidelines that uh, we might want to see, like the store. And the resources and then they go straight to uh, performing uh, directions your uh, teaching notes so uh, they have everything here uh, overall summary of the song like and also this one the usual uh, three key points that uh, they want you to present and uh, to deliver on the performance so they have the history the background and how to sing it and uh, if uh, you need more, you can always uh, research more, as I did also uh, yesterday. And after that, you go directly to the song. Okay, so the first one is Tambulina. So this one is a uh, musical. This is actually my first time uh, listening to it first uh, because uh, usually I watch the one that's from Barbie and it's uh, totally different. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, not the Barbie Tambulina. So this is uh, another musical, but kind of the same uh, concept so this is also uh, really nice and okay so let's go fly a uh, fly kite so this is uh, Mary Poppins so we know uh, Disney movies uh, Mary Poppins is very uh, famous right and then okay the next one this is four pages okay so this one's new, uh, yesterday's new so this is uh, by Betty Rose so this is uh, from the UK a UK composer I also just heard this one too and then uh, a song for the early dwellers okay so this is by Christopher Norton uh, so he is one of my favorite uh, pianists and composers so this is really good so it's like a prehistoric kind of feel so uh, that's cool and okay this is five pages so uh, you can definitely have them uh, copied and like uh, put them side by side so you don't have to turn and then okay a little child so this one is uh, kind of the Christmas music this is also my first time uh, listening to it because I usually uh, play uh, American music uh, for Christmas and uh, it, it wasn't uh, presented there but okay, uh, this is uh, really exciting that uh, it's very interesting that a lot of songs that actually I haven't uh, come to know yet and then uh, a dragon's lullaby okay so this one is in a uh, major it's really good uh, if you want to choose this one uh, for your exam pieces and the walrus and the carpenter okay so this one is uh, from a poem and then uh, it was uh, further something into Alice in Wonderland or something so maybe uh, if you want to sing it you can uh, interpret it as something like as in wonderland kind of uh, scene and okay so this is browser the giraffe so this is uh, one of uh, the oldest uh, nursery rhymes so uh, this is really good also and kind of uh, groovy and like for the kids who love like grooves groovy stuff definitely choose this one Okay, so uh, this one, uh, The Orange Tree, so this is by a Nigerian composer, uh, it's also really good. So you can definitely choose this one for your exam piece. And okay, and this is The Big Ship Sales. This one is also a traditional uh, song. This is uh, from the UK, also Scottish uh, music. So nursery rhyme from uh, the olden days, so this is really good also. And Aiken drum. Aiken drum is also uh, UK from the UK. It's uh, Welsh. So definitely uh, UK nursery rhymes. Uh, we have some in this book. Uh, okay, so the last one, this one, The Good Night, is from uh, Dmitry Kolevsky. Also so good. But the lullaby here, The Good Night lullaby here, is um, more minor. So it's not major like the dragon's lullaby. And then that's the end of the book. This is actually uh, the 
if you buy the book you will get a code to enter to the Soundwise uh, website and you can download the mp3 and when you're there you will get uh, wait um, the tracks that is listed here in the first one so they will have uh, two version actually so the one with the performance and also the one uh, as the backing track but everything is in this original key and there's actually uh, some of them have this uh, orchestra uh, orchestral instruments so you have so for example like one song you will have three uh, uh, mp3s uh, in them so one on the piano and then one uh, with the performance and the other one is the performance with orchestral instruments so not all of them are with orchestral instruments but some of them have them so definitely you can download that uh, once you already have the book and you can practice it directly. Okay, so for accompanists, uh, this book already uh, quite challenging and some of them are with so many pages. You can just uh, copy it and then uh, put them in the in your piano and so you don't have to keep turning. Or, and um, well, if you can memorize it, it will be good, but you know, as accompanists, we have so many key different keys for uh, you know, singing kids, and then we have to practice every day with different keys, right? And I think it's better to just read and then uh, transpose them directly, but of course, it's your choice. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and always check uh, the updates on Trinity website because right now we're still on online uh, submissions. So, in my area, definitely everything is still online. So, we, can, we don't have face to face yet. So, it's a different, uh, there's a different list for online exam uh, requirements. So, definitely check that out also from Trinity. And I'll see you next time.